imagine cracking every network around you. Crazy, right? With this tool, it's not an advertisement though. And a few tricks, you'll see how it's done. Oh, and while you're focused on cracking those networks, keep an eye out. There is a hidden gift card for you somewhere around this video. So let's get hacking. So before we jump in, just a quick reminder. This is all about ethical hacking. We are testing our own network to make sure it's secure, not messing with anyone else's Wi-Fi. So please be responsible. All right, imagine this, you're sitting there with a small simple device and guess what you can crack into any wi-fi network around you sounds like something straight out of a spy movie right but it's real and today we're diving into how to make that happen legally and ethically of course you can own every network around you with the right tools and trust me it's not as complicated as you might think so how can we do that simple with a tool called Ermon ng so let me break it down for you step by step first we'll start by preparing our device and then show you how to grab the handshake crack the wi-fi password and make it all work sounds like a challenge right so stick with me and let's hack this together all right first you'll need a few things here is a quick list you'll obviously need a kali linux you can install it or just put it live Either works, and you'll need a Wi-Fi adapter that supports monitor mode and packet injection. If you don't have one, check out Alpha adapters. I think they are the best one out there. Again, it's not an advertisement. I just like using these adapters. And last but not least, we need your brain. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm breaking everything down so anyone can follow. All right, here is where the fun begins. We're about to switch the Wi-Fi adapter into monitor mode. Basically, it's like giving your device superpowers to snoop on all network traffic around you. Think of it like you're turning your regular adapter into a high spy gadget. First we're gonna put Wi-Fi adapter into monitor mode. So why we need this? So you can sniff all the juicy traffic around you. Enough talking, open your terminal, type Ermon ng, check, kill. This will shut down anything that could mess with our adapter. So we don't need any conflict. Let's go. And boom, it killed all the processes. Well, let's check the name of our adapter. There it is, it's called WLAN 0. You might have the same name and in some cases you might have it different. However, Ermon ng start and give your name and replace this with the appropriate name. If it's WLAN 0, then type WLAN 0. Let's see if it's switched to monitor mode. All right, we're in business. It's in monitor mode. If you have it like that, you're good to go. Now it's time to find some networks around us. Our dump. Wow, look at that magic. These are all networks around me. And you'll see a list of network pop up like magic. Each network has a bunch of information. So that adapter literally sniffs the packets in the air. So let's break this down. BSSID means that's the network unique ID. CH stands for channel, what frequency it's on. This stands for encryption. So what encryption is using? As you can see here, they're all using WPA2. And this one is an open network. Let's just stop this with Ctrl C. Well, I had to run another application called Wi-Fi. Apparently, Ermon NG shows only 20 networks at once, so I couldn't get mine. Pick up one that you own or you have permission to test on. In my case, it will be SecureWell. Note down the BSS ID. I'll just write it here. And the channel, of course. We'll need those to perform an attack. Now we're going to focus on that specific network. Run this command, airdump ng dash dash. In my case, this is the basis ID that I'm gonna use and dash C for channel, dash W and we'll name the file capture. All right, let me break this down. Replace this network ID with your network ID you're interested in and the channel, you'll find it right under the CH and dash W to specify what we're basically doing here we're looking for the handshake this command will allow us to capture the handshake let's go and the handshake it's like the key to cracking the password so we'll keep this running and open up a new window let's just split vertically make it bigger all right here's the trick how we're gonna grab that handshake we're gonna kick off the devices from the network so when they reconnect back to the network we're gonna grab that handshake let me show you how as you can see here I'm connected to the network. Type the network ID that we grabbed earlier and specify the network adapter. 
So this will send the auth to the network. So when the devices reconnect, they send handshake. You'll see a message in your terminal say it's captured. So keep an eye on this one. Once I hit enter, it will be disconnected from the network. Let's go. As you can see, it's reconnecting. And we got the handshake as well. I heard the handshake, but it's not in human readable format. We can't read it. But Aircrack NG can read that. Dash W and give it your word list. The word list is under this directory, so I just have to type it. And dash P for network ID, which is BSS ID, and specify the capture flag. And look at that! How fast it is! Oh my god, it's just crazy. I highly recommend using rocky.txt for real life scenarios. So for this instance, I've created a word list that contains this password for the sake of time. Otherwise, it will take forever, especially if you brute force with CPUs. GPUs might be better. So let me know in the comment below if you want me to crack passwords with GPUs. It's much faster and much reliable. Let me know in the comment below. If you really want to level up, use GPU with Hashcat. It's lightning fast compared to CPU cracking and never rely on one word list. Mix it up to cover more passwords. So if you learned something new today, hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. And don't forget to leave a comment below so I can pick up a random winner for that Amazon gift card. See you on another one.